everyone. So today we are going to learn about the sweep tool. Um, and doing that, we're actually going to learn about this spline tool in our sketches. So to start, we have an open design. We're going to come over to create, and we're going to make sure to create our new component first. And leave the name as default is fine. All right, now we need to create our new sketch. So when we choose create sketch, this one is going to be very important that we just use our default planes. This one we're going to use this top plane, right? that XY plane. If we choose it, it'll bring us around. And we want to make sure that we start our shape directly at the origin in the middle. So we're going to actually create a polygon. In this case, we're going to use a circ circumscribed polygon. You could use an inscribed polygon if you'd like. It's just going to be a slightly different size. Um, but in this case, we're still practicing. We're going to come here and we're going to click directly in the middle. All right. And then what we want to do is we're going to make a 40 millimeter radius for our polygon. All right. We're going to leave. If you notice, if I hit tab, I could change how many points. All right. We're just going to leave this at six. We have our 40 millimeters. I'm going to press the enter key. So we have a six sided polygon starting directly in the middle and it's 40 millimeters as our radius here. We're gonna finish our sketch. All right, we're gonna start one more sketch. We have to have two sketches that intersect to be able to do our sweep. So it's very important that we choose either our front or our right. In this case, I'm gonna choose my right hand plane. Okay, if you're having trouble figuring out which one's which, we can come over to our view cube and click the right. And then we can see directly this is our plane. We can choose our right plane from there. All right, from here, I am going to pan my view down a little bit. So I'm clicking my mouse button down and dragging the screen so that our origin is close to the bottom. If you don't have a mouse, you can choose the pan key here and it'll let you move the screen the same way. If it doesn't let you get it off your cursor, you can hit escape and it'll get off your cursor. Okay, we need to make a spline. So part of the sweep, all right, when we do it is actually taking the shape and spinning it kind of up and around some sort of curve or line. So we can choose spline, all right? We need the center to start right at the middle of where our shape was. So that's why it was so important for us to start in the middle. Okay, we're gonna do that. We're gonna bring our cursor up above, over to the right. These are going to snap for now, that's okay, right above, and then back to our first line here. Okay, to end this, we can either double click right there, or right click and hit okay. Either way works. But the thing is, now we need some dimensions. Alright, the dimensions, I'm going to show you over here, alright, between our first dot and our second dot, alright, we're going to have 80 millimeters, straight up. Okay, these are directly in line with each other, like this one shows here. All right, then between the next two vertically, we have 60 millimeters. Okay, then we have 60 again, and then 20. So these are all vertical dimensions. So we're going to start with our dimension tool up here. I'm going to click on my origin. I'm going to click on my first dot, and then it'll bring this measurement onto your cursor. If you click to drop it down, we're going to change it to 80 and hit enter. You see it starts to make it a little weird, that's okay. All right, the next one, we have that dot that it ended at, and the next dot, if you notice, depending on where your cursor goes, it goes at different angles. The thing is, we need the vertical one, so you might have to bring it over to the side to get it to be facing the correct direction. It's going to be 60. Apparently, I didn't make mine big enough to be able to do this. Okay, if yours starts to wrap in on itself like that. So I just clicked the escape key to get the um, tool, the dimension tool, off of my cursor. Sometimes, oop, let me close this a little bit so we can see a little better. Alright, sometimes it'll let you drag the points you need. So right now, I just went in and I'm zooming out. Okay, and I'm dragging the points away from each other to give me a little more space. So if you notice our 80 went from being straight up and down to being a little curved, we can just grab that dot and drag it back straight up and down um, from the origin. Okay, now we have our 60, we have our 80. 
all right, between our next dot, our second dot and the third dot, it should be 60. Between the third and the fourth, it should be 20. So we'll come back here. We're going to grab our dimension tool again. We'll click our second and our third dots. We need to change this to 60. We hit enter. Okay, click our third and our fourth dot. Bring our cursor out and click. Click 20 or type 20 and enter. Okay, we're almost there. So if you noticed, all right, when we looked at our drawing here, all right, the first dot is directly above our origin. All right, with this one, if you need to drag it around, you could. We're going to talk about constraints soon. Um, we could use that, but right now, don't worry. But now these next two, all right, we need to go look at our measurements here. So they are both 50 away from our origin. So we're going to come back to our sketch. We're going to click sketch dimension again. Okay, from our origin to that second dot, okay, we're going to click. And if you notice again, it's trying to do the vertical. We want to do the horizontal. So we're going to bring it all the way down here and click. We're going to type 50. All right, if I hit escape to get dimensions off my key, we could just do another dimension for this one, or if we drag it over, it should snap um, if you have your grid locks on. All right, so now we have, just like this curve shows here, we have 20, 60, 60, 80, and our 50 across. All right, from here we can finish our sketch. Right, you may need to go choose the home view to see everything again if you did choose the right view before. All right, and now we need to go actually make this a, a sweep. So we're going to come to our create panel, open our create panel, and come down to sweep. The example shows it practically what we have here, um, where there's a profile and a path. Right, it'll open our contextual menu. We have our profile. This cursor is already ready to select. Our profile is our shape. Okay, our profile is the shape that we made. All right, then our path, if we choose that cursor so it's highlighted, then we come over and highlight and click on that curve that we made, that spline. If you notice, automatically it makes this curve. It adds in, it takes that hexagon we made and kind of sweeps it up and around that curve. All right, you could change how far it goes. You could change if it tapers or twists or anything like that at this point if you needed to. Um, for this case, we are going to accept. And then here is our finished object for sweep.